Obviously, yesterday in Austria, we saw big news by Valentino Rossi confirming his retirement at the end of the season. What's your thoughts on the news? Yeah, I'm really happy and really sad because it's nice that he's he's made peace with this decision. He seems really happy and he's got a, a great future ahead of him uh, and a lot of years to live. But sad because he's the he's an, the icon of the sport. You know, you look at icons like you know Michael Jordan. He's he's right up there. You know, and he's he is MotoGP. So not having that spearhead around, uh, he'll be around in the paddock, but it'd be, it'd be sad not to see that yellow helmet and bright leathers heading down pit lane. Oh, I don't remember, mate, honestly, I, don't, I really don't remember. Um, yeah, he's been an inspiration to the sport massively. Um, respect for him racing for so long and being competitive. Personally, I think he maybe should have knocked on the head a couple of years before and finished on a high, but you never know until it's too late, really. But um, he's done a lot for the motorsport industry uh, over the years um, and everyone has to hang their suit up at some point. Um, I just always remember the character when he was younger more than the older days. He was very wild, loose, like that's what I liked about racing. Um, always doing crazy celebrations, just being a young kid going racing, I always had a lot of respect for that. Um, and yeah, racing, you know, when I raced against him, he was still a lot older than me. And you think, fair play, at that age doing that is impressive. So sure, he'll go on to do something else and he'll still show his face for sure. Um, and he'll probably go off and race something else a little bit safer. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think all, all the words you say uh, to Valentino is uh, very short, no? because he's uh, probably a legend. I remember that uh, when I was a child, uh, I, I saw uh, raising him in, in television, no? And so, yeah, for me, uh, Valentino, more than a rider, he, how to say, he saw the motorcycle to all the world, no? Because I think uh, before him, was uh, motorcycling was like, a, for, for many parts of the, of the world, was uh, no no nowhere um, and after Valentino everybody knows motorcycle and everybody uh, follows motorcycle so yeah for me uh, he's a legend and he he, he did uh, a lot for for this world and yeah has been a really pleasure to to fight many races against he, him so yeah now he have to to enjoy the the next life after the races. Yeah, for me, for me, him is uh, one of best uh, on this on this world, no, on the motorbike. I think uh, him make uh, something crazy and something that uh, is in the history uh, for sure. Is is the best rider ever. Um, but uh, I'm I'm also happy for him that he stop because I think. Uh, um, Every every year, every year, and uh, when you coming old, it's not easy, no? Because coming some rider, some young rider, and uh, to stay in front is not so easy. But him try to push, and uh, I I respect him because he's so good, and uh, for sure uh, we remember like uh, the best rider ever. Yeah, for sure. You know, Valentino for. Every rider is uh, like a, like a, a hero, you know. And uh, but I remember Kenan Sofol, he's a retired race, and he's uh, not really happy because uh, he's uh, maybe 35, 36 years old. He's a retired race, and he's not happy because we are sometimes speak. He say, "Why I'm not uh, racing more?" And uh, but. Uh, for uh, Valentino, I think good because he is uh, 41, 42 years old, maybe. Yeah, he he racing many many years, and uh, but I think now uh, this is good because he uh, this is life, you know. Now he go to maybe more uh, uh, holiday, I don't know, and I'm happy for him, and uh, yeah. Well, this is yeah, just. <laughs> Thanks, I'm a foreign. Thank you.